Thank you for picking the video. Here we're going to make a NFT system out of a downspout. We're going to lay everything out four inch on center. We took one downspout and made it into four or into three 40 inch sections. Here we're just laying out four inches on center for the holes. This way there'll be 10 holes in each section. So let's just move this right along. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. All right. Now that you've done mark marking the layout, it's time to drill the holes. So as normal, when drilling in plastic, you start out and forward just to get the drill bit through. And then once you get the drill bit through, you switch it into reverse and continue to drill till you get through the plastic. Just make sure you don't puncture the other side. And then do the rest of your holes. be the greatest everybody on the face shit i look around and feel like everybody is the fakest i make this every day and i'm impatient hoping one day i blow up from the basement statement the top is so vacant i don't hear shit that i think is amazing waiting for my day when i'm playing sold out shows for a thousand faces hey give me that crown get in my way and to be put down it ain't your place all this my town if i want that shit then i'll get it right now i'm losing it the noose if it's some loose shit a stupid myth you choose to live or choose to dip you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah! There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions, each new update, that shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance Y'all, so do me a favor, don't treat me like an Alright, so here we're finishing up Let's get that last hole in Remember to go back and check, make sure all your edges are good so that after this point you can move on. Alright, these are a three piece end cap. I downloaded the file on Thingiverse and printed them out on my 3D printer. So it comes with three pieces and that's the end cap with a hole in it already. There you go, you can see the hole better that way. And then you got your downspout which a half inch fitting does go over and right there is your standpipe inside which raises your water level kind of makes it into a deep water culture now I printed them in white and black here and as you see you can just order the caps on eBay or SD or something like that and put a half inch PVC through the end this is a little more easy to adjust. So, what you want to do is, you see, you want to bring the water level up to just under the net pot. And with a standard two inch net pot, you got a little bit of space at the bottom. And that standpipe actually brings the water level up to the base of the net cup, or net pot. Here we got the regular standpipe in there, but let's, for better purposes, let's put the white one in so that you can see. All right, see how far the water level comes up. And that'll bring it right up to under the base of the net pot. All right, well, I'm gonna show you something here. These are some new net cups that I got. I picked them up off of Amazon. Now they're longer than the traditional two inch net cups. 
here's an example but the main thing is this is like your normal one you pick up at the nursery or whatever 25 35 cents whatever whereas these I picked up off of Amazon I got a hundred of them for sixteen dollars so that comes out to sixteen cents a piece you can't beat that I mean that's that's dirt cheap but I'll put a link in the bottom so if you want to get some too all right now we need to put the end caps on we're going to use a waterproof silicone cock now you want there's a ridge that goes all the way around these caps you want to get the cock all around the caps as deep down into the grooves as you can this will create a better seal so let's do one up just to show you and here's the one we did now, as you can see I pushed it down in with my finger okay and it's easy to do just try to be neat I mean it's cock it'll get everywhere but press it down in and then when you're done wipe it down now this is after I've already put it on and when you put it on you're gonna have some squeeze out we'll just rub it up in there like that it'll help create a better seal go all the way around and yes be mindful of the cocking on the ends because it will get nasty but once you get it all done get your paper towel and clean it up and it cleans up real nice as long as you get it while it's fresh now that we got this one done all I gotta do is five more or three three four uh, yeah five more well, let me get the five and I'll get right back here well here's after the five all done except for the drain at the bottom now the drain at the bottom as a square fitting all you got to do is put some uh, silicone around the edges of it and slip it on now you can put it around the outside or you can put it inside the uh, drain tube itself but the main thing is after you get done let it sit now I let my system set for 24 hours before putting water into it so I already put the stand pipes in everything's all hooked up now I'm using this for aquaponics but I mean you can use it for hydroponics just as well Now here's after I fired it up. Now as you can see, with the standpipes in, the water actually comes up about a little over about a quarter inch in those uh, longer two inch net pots. But in a regular net pot, is right there, it just touches the bottom. So if you're going to use regular net pots and you use the standpipe, then it'll just get the water to the bottom and once it gets the roots grown down you can pull the standpipe if you want and let your system go or you can leave it as a deep water it's a constant moving water on your on this system because it's an aquaponics system but uh, truthfully mine is running 24-7 this whole system cost me about $24 to build, minus the pump, of course. And so far, I'm pretty happy with it. The system went together very well. There's no leaks. And I planted it out. I'm going to uh, root these coleus for a bed. But after that, I've got some lettuce going. And some different types to try for summertime. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe. Don't let them tell you what to do, man. They don't know shit.